Ah, good evening, Zimbabwe. You are listening to Studio 7 from the Voice of America on Monday, December 8th, 2014. And this is Live Talk. I'm Blessing Zulu. And I'm Kip Stube. And uh, tonight on Live Talk, we are talking about uh, the just uh, ended uh, ruling ZANU PF uh, Congress. To join the discussion, phone us directly at this number 001 202 619 and we'll call you back. And as usual, Live Talk goes out to Zimbabwe on our 909 medium wave frequency and on the 4930-5940 and 15455 kilohertz shortwave Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. On the internet, you can find us, find us at www.voizimbabwe.com www.voashona.com and www.voindevele.com I want to thank you and thank you most heartily most profoundly for voting for me once again The sacking of Sekiramai is not surprising uh, this was something that was coming uh, basically on the fact that uh, he was linked to a, a camp uh, that is believed or that is alleged to be he have been plotting uh, against the ouster of, uh, of President Mugabe. <laughs> Aiko into Tilevan Begayo, a Pumile and Jale Kulunyang Monga Melum Kabe, Nescati, a Kuluma Nabandu Rajbez, the Ukongo Sezan, a Pandle Wes in Samba, Abes in Kishiza, a Tuga Labo Akawangutbais in Tazake. Once again, uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, for those of you who are just joining us, uh, this is uh, Studio 7 uh, Live Talk. And tonight on Live Talk, we are talking about uh, the just-ended uh, ruling ZANU-PF Party uh, Congress. And the ZANU-PF Congress actually ended uh, Saturday, but without addressing the key question of who will be in the presidium. Uh, the Congress uh, did not uh, turn out as advertised. Uh, the party had uh, promised that uh, the Congress was going to address the issue of uh, factionalism, but it appears uh, tensions are rising in the ruling party. Gibbs. What do you think about this issue? If you wish to join the discussion right now, phone us directly at this number, 001-202-619-2077, and we'll call you back. That number again, 001 202 619-2077. You can also send us a message on WhatsApp and our number is 1-202-435, sorry, 001 Yepesengichayo <laughs> Sakasiana Siana Mubato. Asinasi Taona e Kuchidona e Mimwe Mikono Va Sidni Sekrama Eva Nuaiwa Gurukota Ernona Neze e Kudzi Wakwenika Kana with Minister of Defense Vans Vaburitz Waiwa Kuma Shonal and East Central Kutivasave Nengo Ye Central Committee as Mwechetes and Zizwa it kwa okunava padijanda parima kunga kunga e kudi kudao va simbarashi mdarikwa e inyaya ya tichazo chaga uti iriku fambasei agibs asi chokwa ndeswe kuti zinazo na kumira zaka naka inga bangosa ye yeah, kujalo ke inga bangosa in oh, kubekela yeah. pampili ye <laughs> ntandi bale kubekela pampili kula kale kuzanpia oh ya yeah. <laughs> so mwa kubwana kwa bantu la papatu kweza kala kuzanpia fukia maa alisa e, but ye yeah, kwa kweza kala kwa 2004 kutwa lo kwa te, kwa tesi but mm, wani kupampili mm-hmm. sesu ile njalo kuti kongro si pelile koto kusele kutu kutiungi presidium presidium aiko school magunji mm-hmm. na school mikini so blessing oke zale yikuti abanta babili iba abas bambile yoka test kuzan pf mm-hmm. silo mwanga meli we party ongu fake secretary njalonji mm-hmm. e, ongu president robert mkabe mbozo kwe alo mga ke ukresi mm-hmm. mkabe ongu women's league so babili abanta ba confirmed civil ukuti vele sebe kupolit piro sebe mm-hmm. genini patabanyi laba as was so ke si zwile ke lamitanji ukuti emotional east kona ngale 
kubela ukugedlela kwamazinyo Blessing. Mhm. Eh sizwa kuthiwa ke umnumzana u Sydney Sekelo Mai, ubuso kubuya ke lo umnumzana ke u David Ibarele Nyatwa. Lezi izipata bandla zikahulumeni lezinkulu sibini. Mhm. Bazithe ke ngikhula ngale. Bathuphuma nini madoda? Kanye azani lali sekelo ubani? Unkosi kazi jo esimjulu. Mhm. So ingxaba ngcoza yaphambili fodwa. Mhm. So akaita amanyama amireni ronko. Kutsho nje kulokho. I think Gibbs we have our first guest uh, we have uh, Mr. Uh, Tafadzwa Musarara is a uh, political analyst who mm-hmm. we might say uh, usually leans towards the RPF. Mr. Musarara good evening. Good evening and uh, good evening to all. Thank you so much Gibbs. Mm-hmm. Gibbs can start the ball rolling. Yes, uh, we want to wish to know here Mr. Musarara the Congress is over, but uh, this so-called factionalism is continuing in the party. Can, can you tell us? Obviously, it's over, but not yet over, right? Well, the the Congress is over. The uh-huh. objectives of the Congress have been met uh, in respect of uh, dissolving the Central Committee and coming up with new members, uh-huh. and also um, reports coming from the thematic committees, uh, which are food, nutrition, state of the party, appreciation, and, um, and uh, indigenization and heritage, uh, where members or delegates were invited to make interventions on the way forward uh, as far as, um, as it relates to execution of the uh, Zima assets. The vote of no confidence is a provision that is found within the, uh, um, the constitution of ZAN-PF, where well, they feel that if members have acted or behaved in a certain manner that is prejudicial to the interest of the of the party, uh, then they lose. The, the, then the people will not have confidence in them and uh, their ability and competence to hold those offices will be in in, um, in, uh, in doubt. I also want to advise you and also your listeners that the difference between um, expulsion, suspension, and the word of no confidence. So please don't uh, use them interchangeably. Mm-hmm. They are different. Uh, thank you, Mr. Amsara. But uh, of course, uh, uh, what uh, this uh, Congress was all about was uh, a new leadership. And uh, Mr. Mugabe is saying he needs uh, more time. But is that uh, not uh, ultra uh, the constitution of ZANU PF, uh, which clearly stipulates that uh, after the Congress, uh, at least during the uh, time of the Congress, new leaders must be um, in place? Well, you, 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 there is no provision that. Uh, Find the, the the president to announce uh, uh, the the leadership uh, within Congress and make it illegal outside outside the Congress days. Uh, what the president has simply done is to say, um, you know, there are a number of uh, issues also that were not concluded. For mm-hmm. instance, the issue of uh, resolutions. They are going to be finalized with the Congress on Wednesday during the Central Committee, and so shall be the announcement of the leadership. You know, people are just impatient. You may recall, gentlemen, that sometime last year, soon after the, the landslide victory election of July 31, it took close to 40 days before we got a new cabinet. And uh, people were starting again to speculate and all those allegations. But I'm personally surprised. In fact, it's a compliment to Zambia that uh, uh, hostile media institutions like yours are very uh, in <laughs> to hear President Mugabe uh, see, see, see new appointments. In fact, um, you know, Zambia is big enough. It's a very big part. It's bigger than you think because even in those in the MDC, I uh, can't wait again to hear what's happening in Zambia. Mm. Of course, uh, mm-hmm. Mr. Sarara is alleging that we are hostile to Zaru PF. I beg to no. differ. But uh, maybe, uh, Mr. Sarara, you know what they say that uh, if you, uh, a man who marries a beautiful wife uh, and a man who plants corn by the roadside, both have the same problem. So maybe people are just uh, curious. Yes, yes. <laughs> so <laughs> it comes to that. <laughs> now, Mr. Amsarara, let us put the spotlight on the president. Now, what was your impression? What was your impression of him? You know, judging from his speech, you know, at one stage you had it yourself. He said, "Pasine So, at the end of the day, what is? Be honest with me here. 
What was your impression of him? You see, um, uh. I think there has been uh, very interesting into the uh, interest by media houses, yours included, of, uh, of of making headlines over a gaffe that uh, President Gabe said personal Zano. But look, let's face it: there is a Zanpio and there is a Zano. So he didn't say personal Zanpio. Even if, if you know, uh, that, that his slogan was meant soon after, you know, he, he had more than one, two things that he was uh, attending to. And, uh, and uh, uh, the Congress didn't take it as an offense. The gaps are always okay. Um, and President Gabe is a human being, is a superhuman being. But the, uh, if he makes gaffes, then um, um, it, it is human. There's also Gaffe on, on CNN, on BBC, on all over. Uh, world leaders have done that. George Bush was, was more, George W. Bush was more notorious about it. So those Gaffes happen. And, uh, and our slogans are very clear that uh, Pamberi and the past, and in some instances people tend to, to mix it. But what is the intention? Is what matters. What is the intention? If someone makes a mistake and you want to draw um, too much meaning out of it, I think that's not fair. And uh, your, your, your media house is trying to uh, bazooka a mosquito, and that's not correct. <laughs> <laughs> And now, yes. <laughs> uh, talking about your uh, the, the party constitution, many are saying it has been butchered the way that uh, some members have been uh, kicked out. It's clearly against uh, the party constitution. I mean, judging from the fact that uh, who, for example, uh, will uh, constitute the quorum uh, that will uh, uh, kick out certain executive members. Anyone now in ZANU-PF can just wake up and say uh, we have suspended so and so, and uh, the Politburo Bureau will endorse. What is happening? Well, you see, you are speculating. I don't know that you are asking me a question of what is happening, or you are telling me what to think. The only thing is that uh, the constitution of ZANU-PF, so is any other constitution of other political parties, has got the proviso of vote of no confidence. You know, people. Uh, serve in those offices as the pleasure of the people who voted for them. And uh, when certain instances occur, and they feel that the, the, the person they voted in no longer carry the, the, the integrity and the competence that they thought they, he had or she had in the first instances, the vote of no confidence is passed by a simple majority. Vote of no confidence are a common phenomenon across the world. But when it happens in Zanpiv, you always want to take it as if Zanpiv has invented... Our question, Mr. Musarara, was who is conducting it? If you go to Mashonal and East, for example, uh, the people who were yeah. supposed to pass the vote of no confidence, uh, they endorsed the... Uh, the, 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 the the executive in National and East, but then uh, we had some uh, war veterans and youths uh, allegedly uh, buzzed from somewhere who came in and said, uh, we don't have confidence with this leadership, and the leaders were kicked out. Who is responsible? People are, in terms of, in terms of the constitution of Zanapia, mm -hmm. the relevant organ passes a, a majority board simple majority vote. And that organ is made of supporters who put it in place. For instance, the provincial executive has been put by the people. We include the war veterans, we include the youth, and, uh, and uh, war collaborators. So when they make a, a, a statement or a demonstrate, they now that informs the decision made by the by, 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 which is made by the um, provincial executive. And that has been the case. When, when, when papers go to Politburo, it is papers signed by the members of the province. But uh, we always have re people who, re who requisition a certain action. And in this case, as you rightly put it, it could be war veterans. Whether they are passed or not, uh, I don't know whether you, you get the evidence to that effect. It's mere speculation. But war veterans are all over the, all over the country. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Nariawe nenge siri ku famba shakanak. Rikati zoke kwa muri va msarara. Tichiti su trukona unge mu bato musina ku gazikana kunyango azo paitwa iyo congress iyo neguti kune ma sachi garo anushka mapfumba mu ati siri kuzoto na mangu na rau rakamira se amone re bato mchizo ita zinyeke nyeke. Mugora two thousand and four two thousand and five tareta. 
Masaji Garo wa Kabisko Zakare aishika 6 mm-hmm. eh, msango novembra mpuri. Eh, as you know, itawana mwa Masaji Garo wa Kabisko, msango nune indera mberi. No one is bigger than the party in San Pedro. And uh, you should understand that when they are, are voted as the chairperson of the province, this is this is a political position. It's not where we expect them to earn a living. So they've got farms, they've got other sources of living, they will continue. It's simply a misleading statement because these are people who had their lives before appointment and they can continue to, to, to live their own lives after. Uh, they've been dethroned in the case now. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. For those of you who are just uh, joining us, uh, this is uh, Studio 7 Live Talk. And tonight on Live Talk, we are talking about uh, the just-ended ruling uh, ZANU-PF uh, Congress. Uh, and of course, many people were expecting that after this Congress, uh, there will be a new presidium. But uh, President Robert Mugabe, who is also the first secretary of the ruling party, uh, pleaded for more time, saying people should wait uh, up to until at least Wednesday when he will appoint new leaders. Gibbs, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank Mm, are we winning, uh, I yeah. think we have our second guest, uh, Gibbs. Yes, we've got uh, our second guest, who is Mr. Begazela Matuma. He's an independent political analyst uh, based in Matuman South Region. Uh, Mr. Matuma, good evening and welcome to the program. Uh, good evening, Gibbs and Blessing. How are you? Very fine. How, how is Gwanda? Very hot. No promise of any rain so far. Excellent. And today, can you sit there? Don't move. Because when you move an inch, okay. your phone goes, you know. So, so tell us what All is right. your what is your impression of you know on on, on the ZANU-PF Congress? Um, it, it turned out so unfortunate. It's not what everybody expected, as you can see. Mm-hmm. Uh, the whole country still remains uh, timid. Uh, still remains. Uh, I'm not sure what the future holds. You know, everybody was looking at this weekend and thinking that after this weekend things will come out in order or at least in the direction where we are going. But we are still back where we were and we're still not sure what the future holds. It is very unfortunate, very, very unfortunate. Um, well, as a Congress, people, the expectation was that the Congress will go and have uh, an elective structure. Everything will be seen at Congress, at this Congress. Unlike all other congresses, looks like it was just, you know, what, what other people have described as a talk show. Nothing constructive, nothing uh, tangible has come out of it. So, we still back to square one. Looks like Congress was never there at all. Mm. Mm. Mr. Amsarara, uh, the allegations that it was a talk show, uh, some have called it a, a praise and worship. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Congress of worship. Campbell belongs to the, to, to the member of Zan Bear. And uh, uh, it is their democratic right to uh, um, design how their Congress should prosper, how the, the proceedings should go, the amendments they want. That's very important. And I'd like to pick that uh, my colleague, uh, the second guest uh, on, the, on, on, on the line, on the other side of the line, is definitely a member, is not a member of Zan Bear. Um, so the success of, uh, of the Congress or lack of it health, it lies with, uh, within the expectations of the people of Zambia. The members of Zambia have mentioned that uh, they were okay. They, by acclamation, they approved the um, constitutional amendments. By acclamation, they uh, nominated and they elected President Mugabe to be the president and the first sector of the party. By acclamation, they also agreed that President Mugabe must uh, appoint the Politburo, which is the Zambia uh, cabinet equivalent. Uh, and this is the case, just like in America, President Obama uh, is uh, his running mate who becomes his vice, and all the uh, you know ministers who are court secretaries that side, and so is any other president in, uh, in, in the world. And Zambia is not different. It's not a new phenomenon that 
people can decide to only elect one person, and that person is the, in now in Kemba with the responsibility to uh, elect the other 24. You should also understand that this time around, our political bureau has been moved from 64 to 24. Mm-hmm. Media houses like yourselves have been critical of the huge size of uh, uh, of uh, political. Now the political have been moved from 64 to 24. At a time where Momoge and Changrai has also increased his own executive. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's a good. I think you as media houses also acknowledge that positive move. That uh, we now only have 24 members of political from 64. So this is uh, so like the quicker the the, the resources of the. Um, of the organizations are going to be used much lesser in Politburo and more in other facets of the organization. So from a Congress perspective, the NPF simply designed what it wanted, delivered on it, and they're happy. So really, for my good brother now to say things didn't go well, it didn't go well for who? For the people of Zambia, they're happy that it happened. The Congress, by acclamation, approved that the president uh, announces the 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 the, uh, the political which includes the two vice president on Wednesday. But maybe it, want, it should be made very clear that is not announcing the vice president of the country. Mm-hmm. It's announcing the vice president of the party. And. Uh, it, and they should, they should be given that uh, democratic space. Imagine if Zanpif was uh, complaining that MDC is not announcing its leadership. You are going to scream off, uh, screaming uh, that Zanpif is now, uh, in, uh, you know, it's now getting to, it's micromanaging the affairs of the MDC. Mm-hmm. So if things are good for people in Zanpif, let it be. If my brother is not here with it, he's free to join Zanpif, and, uh, uh, and you now have the local standard to oppose what is happening. Mr. Maduma. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I hear what you're saying there, but uh, the truth is, you know, let's look at it very objectively. Let's not run away from the truth. The people in the members themselves did not come back from Congress holding what they expected to hold from there. That's point number one. They all went there with hopes that after Congress, they know who their vice president are who is in the political they came back empty-handed. Uh, the endorsement of uh, the president and the first lady were all were done way before Congress. All those were known. Central committee members, all those were things that were known. The resolutions and so on, all those were things that were known way before. Everybody went there to hear who is in the political and who are the vice president. So to say they are happy, it's not true. They came back without what they expected to get. Secondly, uh, we can say that people are interfering in, 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 in their issues. Because we are talking of a ruling party. Mm-hmm. The whole country is focusing on them. We still have another four or five years to go, four years to go uh, running the country. We are expecting the country to have a vice president. And we automatically know that the vice president of the, of the, the, vice president of the country will come from the, uh, the vice president of yes. the country. Yes. 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 Let, let, let me help you. Let me help you. The elections of the Central Committee you know, were happened with some of them barely seven days before the Congress. And some names of those who had won those elections only arrived at the party HQ uh, for possibly uh, hours before the commencement of Congress. And, and the president was saying, I need time to go through this. Previously, some of the, uh, uh, in, in previous Congresses, Central Committee elections were held a month before the actual Congress. So. We had a situation that uh, during Congress, the president was now getting a full list, the latest list of who has got in there. And I don't think anywhere in the world when someone says, I need more time to look into this, and you would want to say it's unconstitutional. That's not it. Even in in, 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 the, in, in court, you can ask for development on the basis that you want to, to properly look at a certain matter. You need more time to, to reflect on a certain issue. So really, uh, he didn't ask for one month. He simply asked for no, my brother will know what's happening in the in the revolutionary yeah. party. I know you can't wait to hear what's happening. You 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 All get right. to know very soon. When the constitution was amended was amended that the president was going to appoint the political and the vice president. All those things were were known. Everybody knew central committee was going to be elected at this time. So when they went to play a political role, 
if this is going to happen, and when we go into Congress, policy bill will be announced at the end of the Congress, as the Constitution says, the amendment says. So why will we all those things not looked into before going into Congress? So really, everybody went there with the expectation that at the end of Congress, there's going to be a policy bureau, there's going to be two vice presidents. Those were the expectations. And we are saying, Congress has come, that Congress has gone. That expectation has not come yet. That we cannot run away from yet. Announced later. But looking at analyzing the Congress, the expectation of the Congress has not been met. That's the situation. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Please do stay on the line. We'll come back to you. Regat in the Unum Terry, Mkoma Zwari, Mwemagadi. No, Faram, the Faram, Mkoma blessing. I was shooting go far. Good to say, go on the oak. I don't go at our bamboo in me. Hey, I was Ungo Dakaza. The kind of tower and the Gurumiz and the Laguna Lokaba and the Kasindiri and the Mashoko Pano Taura. The kind of tower and Chino Faza, Tiduku Tukana, Murukaram Chitaur and Jitika. Ongu. The Kabuti Wam Sarah, Wandi Terero, Wandi, Wandi, Wamashoko Angu, Wash and he said, Nikaino in the inner Murizuayo. Murizuay and did the over and Dimari. Now one watch. What you will put Amakorimanga and what you Bible, Of course, uh, Mr. <laughs> Zwarimwe is uh, not happy with what is happening in the country. He's yeah. of course saying we don't eat the Congress. Mm -hmm. You can uh, hold your Congresses. But uh, what is happening on the ground is that uh, the uh, economic situation is not look good. Mm -hmm. People are losing uh, uh, their jobs every day. And uh, he says also uh, the reason why Zimbabwe has courts is to make sure that uh, those accused of certain crimes are sent to the uh, courts mm -hmm. so there's no need uh, to fight. We we'll address some of the uh, issues that mm -hmm. he was uh, raising there. But uh, Mr. Msarara and uh, Mr. Maduma, please uh, do stay on the line. For our radio listeners, we are streaming live. Go to www.voazimbabwe.com and uh, press on live talk. This is Blessing Zulu. And I'm keeps to be saying, stay tuned, Zimbabwe.
those of you who are just uh, joining us, uh, good evening. And uh, this is uh, Studio 7 Live Talk. And tonight uh, on Live Talk, we are talking about uh, the ruling ZANU-PF Party Congress, uh, which ended in the capital, Harare, on Saturday. Of course, uh, many were expecting that President Robert Mugabe will appoint the so-called presidium, that is, uh, his uh, two deputies and also the party chairperson. But Mr. Mugabe pleaded uh, for more time, saying that uh, he would do this uh, on Wednesday. But of course, uh, many people want to hear uh, who will be uh, deputizing uh, Mr. Mugabe. And uh, of course, uh, many people are uh, speculating. Mm -hmm. uh, could it be Justice Minister Emerson Mnangagwa? Uh, could it be uh, the uh, Gender Minister Opa Mchinguri? Uh, many names are coming in. Could mm -hmm. it be uh, the party chairman uh, SK uh, Moyo? And some have been saying maybe it's going to be the first lady, Grace mm -hmm. Mugabe. You know, Indeed. there are so many issues here, and it's very difficult to actually say exactly what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. If you wish to join the show right now, phone us directly at this number, 001-202-619-2077, and we'll call you back. That number again, 001-202-619-2077. For those of you who are on WhatsApp, the number, our WhatsApp number is 1-202-465. 0318. Hello. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> not a happy man. Yeah. He's saying that mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mr. Mugabe at 90 is uh, too old to run the country mm -hmm. and uh, he must allow uh, young techs like uh, even Mr. Msarara himself mm. uh, to, to come in and lead the country. And he's saying that um, uh, I think he's in Marshall and West Province. I think he said uh, Karoi. He mm -hmm. said uh, there are no farming inputs, no fertilizers, no nothing. Uh, people are suffering. And he's saying it's high time uh, that uh, Mr. Mugabe uh, mm -hmm. pass uh, the baton to someone else. Yes. I'm going to tell you that 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 I'm going to tell Kwa ya wazani, umu mzalu mkabe, uwe habe candidate kwa 2018 elections, e, presidential election ya kona. Nga sika tuleso, mwana wani mnyaka yake, ya pisi ngeena u94. So, akukulu menge, labantu kwa nampu, uchukuti, wano kubona njani kwa kelo kubwa. Mwana nga kuru, kibira, nga kutu kukulu mga tesi, nga kutumile. Kwa kwa shua, shua, sivi, kwa avantu vi, 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 Located in Dosa, who 
another five years it was of it is amazing five I Mhm. Indonesia so <laughs> So what Mr. Matuma was saying is that, uh, you know, you can't believe that the president will be running for another office, you know. Mm -hmm. that it come 2018. At that time, maybe he'll be 94, eh? mm -hmm. yeah, or he'll be 95. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, he says, this is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And he says, you know, at the Congress, some people danced until they fainted. Because <laughs> <laughs> most people are just praise singing, you know, yeah. according to him. Yeah. So I think uh, maybe these are, these are issues. That we need to address, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, Mr. Maduma, some in ZANU PF uh, will say that uh, Mr. Mugabe was elected only last year. Why should he step down? No, no, please. We've always agreed. There is no election there. There is endorsement. <laughs> There's a big mm -hmm. difference between endorsing and electing. Those people are not, uh, they have not, they don't have the privilege to elect. That's number one. So they can, Sarah and his friends can jump and say, yes, we elected, we elected, but deep down in their heart, they know they did not elect, they just have to endorse. You see? Mm. So, ha. then when you, you mean you was elected in the national election? Mm. That's what his ah, that's supporters are saying. For, yeah, that's, that's a topic for another day. We can't go into it. It has been discussed, but even though, Right, we are saying to 2018 is another four years, that will be about 94. Mm -hmm. And from 2018 to 2023, that's another five years, that will be 100 years. And it's already, well, it's already a, a world record, and we are saying as a country, we want to rebuild, we want to start up fresh. When will the new ideas come in, when we still have to keep renewing, uh, you know, some of our very old leaders, not only President in Canada, but the food. Mm. Not only him, but look at look at the whole lot of people that they are they are talking about that they are trying to put there. Mm -hmm. uh, we know Mitasa, if Mitasa had not been linked to jury, he would have been there. He is advanced in age. Even in Nangagwa, he is already advanced. Mm -hmm. Are there no younger people? They are superman ones. They are they they want to understand things and give these younger people that they can try and do. Why can't they think of along those lines? Instead of saying, you know, we are 34 years after the liberation struggle. Mm -hmm. If all those people were in the liberation struggle arrest, let us now start a new generation. Mm -hmm. The generation we are in now knows the liberation struggle as a history. Fine, let's teach it as a history, but the, the, the age we are in now needs a completely new thinking. We cannot be bound to the same old uh, system 35, 40 years later. It just doesn't work to be a blessing. Mm. Uh, thank you, Mr. Maduma. Regaitende kune mwe mtereri. Mkoma George kupotukua na magadi. Mkoma George? Yes, mkuzwa magadi. Mkuri sayo kupotukua na? Ah, no, mkuri vaichu. Right, mkoma George, Congress ya pera, tipe ufungwa zi. Ah, Congress ya pera, Congress ya pera, zishua, asa, pana chaka, chaka nakila wanwe, wanwe Zimbabwe. Jabuda 
Ah, uh, good Of course, mm. uh, what uh, Thomas and George before him are uh, saying uh, they are concerned that uh, Mr. Mugabe's age is advanced now, and uh, mm. you know the party uh, should uh, encourage him to retire. Yeah, we want to go to I'm going to go to Where is it? I say also, you know, what you are saying is that, uh, you know, the ZANU-PF supporters mm-hmm. should take seriously the uh, person of ZANU-PF CAF, mm-hmm. you know, uh, from uh, the president. They're saying maybe there's something that is going on. They should look at that very, very seriously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think uh, we are being joined by our third guest, uh, that is uh, Mr. Maurice Nguenya, who is a ZANU-PF uh, activist. Uh, unfortunately, we lost uh, Mr. Tafazgwa Musarara. Uh, Mr. Nguenya, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm doing great and thanks for joining us. Now, Mr. Uh, uh, Nguenya, we are talking about, uh, uh, you know, Mr. Mugabe's age. Some are saying it's now a cause for concern. Well, I don't know whose concern it is, really, because the president, he said it in front of the Congress, at the Congress, uh, all the delegates who came and all the people who attended that, yes, he will soldier on and you carry on with the mandate that the people gave him until at such a time, if he, if he feels like he needs rest, he will say it on his own. But at the moment, he says, yes, I'm still fit enough to take uh, that mandate that you are giving you. He said that to the people. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you, Gibbs. Yeah, Bonas and Slow Nums Baba Spanda, Wau Chonajani. I'm Johnny Chonajana. It's Spanda, ye. Lapis Kuma, Akulam Tanji. He spoke on Utiba and Telezan Pief. That's a Lum Tangano, where Congoros, Kotaloba Super, the Congoros, and Kona Lum Tangano. He wanted to go to the Pampil Lusana, part with Zan Pief. I want to go to Lum Nuzana, who sit in second May. So, Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Uwele kutula Nente zijari Ye yeah, mwausu kangela ke baba spanda Kukanya zani umnu mzana Robert Mkabe Uwele kutula 2018 Kampo ngatini nga konoko Le mnyaka ya kebe ya visa nganzi kupo gile pele Kutuwa ni kona hapo Eee eh, Inyaka kawa wikale Ina Omfisa kwa ane Ngawe kui Kukuti kuwa omkale Ngati e Ngati ya kia kia kulo lukete E ngavisa nguye upresident Uye uh-huh. nguye Ostela avantu yivanda la kuti bekete omunye umuko kele uh-huh. Oba yela uwa omkale siya mbonti hai Ito ukanji usi Mhm. Yokusizikinaze <laughs> Hai, kuza lunga mnumza na kuza lunga sweet spongle ya kulu spandi? Hei, ala miya wa kulu mpone. Yes, spongle ya kulu. So what uh, Mr. Spanda is saying is that, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Mugabe should actually appoint fresh blood. Mm-hmm. You know, he says young people or people that have been outside or in the peripheries mm-hmm. of the ruling party. He says these people should bring change in the party. And it is right now, there are serious, serious problems mm-hmm. in Zimbabwe. Like there's no money going around, mm-hmm. they can't get money from anywhere, the factories are closing, people are suffering, prices of basic commodities are very high, and he says this is not too good. Mm-hmm. And then at the end of the day he says at 94, maybe this is too much for him mm-hmm. when it comes to the next election. Mm-hmm. He says he should actually come out in, the, in, in public and, and, and say to people, can I have some new uh, people to a contest? Mm-hmm. I'm tired. Because he says he's too old, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, he doesn't agree with the this kind of mantra that uh, maybe it will still be a fresh kind of a person to contest. Mm-hmm. Mm. Of course, uh, for starters, Mr. Mugabe is the world's uh, oldest uh, uh, executive uh, president. Mm. Uh, the only one who can uh, come close is a uh, 91-year-old Shimon Perez uh, of Israel. But uh, Shimon Perez is just a ceremonial mm-hmm. uh, president. As you know, the prime minister runs the uh, show. Uh, in, uh, in, uh, in 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 Israel, um, Gibbs. Uh, we can go to uh, maybe so, our analyst, yeah, mm-hmm. so Mr. Matuma. Yeah, Mr. Matuma. Yeah, you know, people are really saying that uh, the president will be too old. You know, in uh, 2018 for the elections, and you said yourself that maybe he should actually leave. But at the end of the, uh, the day, uh, Mr. Matuma, is it easy to part with power? Power is money. Power is everything. Yeah, I understand, mm-hmm. but uh, you know, every everybody enjoys something to a certain to a, to a certain time. Mm-hmm. There is a time where you yourself you say, "I'm now out of place in this." Um, if you look at it honestly, if President Kabete had run up to around 1990, 1995, mm-hmm. right now everybody everybody could be looking back and saying, "Yes, we had a great leader then." You will also be sitting on the sidelines and saying, what are you doing? We did this, we did that, we did that. But mm-hmm. wait until, you know, we get to a stage where even the youngest of the persons in the country will come and speak ill of the president. As you hear, you know, the sentiments that are being said around. Mm-hmm. It tells that maybe he has stayed too long. And, you know, that on its own should worry everybody. Especially those within vanity of some of those that are close to him to say, no, let's give it a rest at this stage. I honestly, personally, I for one thought that this Congress was going to be clear that, fine, you want me to go to 2018. Thank you very much. I have done my part. Let me give somebody else. So you would have gone out with a, with a with pride and, uh, you know, we were racing with the Bastanders here and that Imagine if we go to 2018 election, and after all the years that he has said he goes on to lose an election, that will not be the best exit that the country would want to give him. And I don't think that's the kind of exit that the people within Zanopia would want to give him. You know, you do something to a certain time and say, yes, I've done, I've, uh, you know, done, um, I've, my, I've, overst- I've, overst- I've stayed enough uh, of my welcome, let me pick somebody else. Because if we say 2018, it means we are saying he must go up to 2023. That's a very long time. 
that's a very long time. And how many generations would have passed in between? And I was saying 13, 14, 15 million of us, we cannot find somebody capable enough to take over that responsibility. I doubt that. Mm-hmm. I doubt that we could have changed the leadership a long time ago. Opposition mm-hmm. parties are already fighting. You know, MDC is already saying, no, Sangra, you've played long enough. I respect that. That's about 15 years you're leading. If somebody can bring in fresh ideas, let's see how things go. Mm-hmm. You can't hold on to power forever. It gets too hot, and when you lose it, after holding on for too long, you lose it in a very bad way, and you lose all the respect you've gained over the years. Mm-hmm. Mm. And actually, I'm just uh, reading about uh, Israel. I think mm-hmm. uh, they changed their president in July. Uh, and uh, the new one is uh, Ezra Weizman. So they changed on mm-hmm. uh, 24 July 2014, uh, which makes uh, Mr. Mugabe the oldest yes. executive or non-executive uh, president, president in the world. Definitely. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nathan Parunari. Magadi mkoma Nathan. Magadiyo. I wa tiripotipeo fungwa zeni. Fungwa zedu ka ziri pa kwa mtaso. Mm-hmm. Pane rodi, pa manika bridge. Baba manika bridge. Mm-hmm. Kuenda to what I would have Susie. Mhm. Rodi to do at this Gaziro. Mhm. Then we went to Kanataka and our companies. Mhm. Rodi to the Tanga of Hagama Potos. Mhm. Sagas of Zerukuti Rodz. Mhm. Eh, Koenda Vutinia Magit. Mhm. Is this Magit Una on Amkoma? Mhm. But when you come to campaign, Tago campaign, I go to my bus, I shall need for one of these. I think we shall have a mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Hey, so I was not in that room, and Nathan, you know, I'm going to go to the house. I it's not end. Of course, uh, mm-hmm. what Nathan is saying, uh, it might uh, seem out of topic, but yeah. he's simply saying that, uh, you know, the citizens are not happy. Roads are not being repaired. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are power outages. There is no clean drinking water. A lot of problems. Mm-hmm. And uh, when it comes to uh, electioneering, many promises are being made by politicians, but nothing is being done. So he's saying that uh, as a citizen of Zimbabwe, these are things that should be addressed. Uh, I'm getting the impression that he's simply uh, tired of uh, politics. Mm. So politics as it is politics, mm-hmm. but our time uh, is almost up, uh, blessing. Mm-hmm. Maybe we're going to pose that question to Mr. Nguyen, but unfortunately, I think mm-hmm. we're out of time. Uh, so we want to take this opportunity, of course, uh, to thank our guests uh, this evening, uh, Tafazgwa Musarara, um, uh, analyst uh, with ZANU-PF Leaning, uh, Maurice Nguenya, ZANU-PF activist, and also Mr. Begizela Maduma, uh, an independent political analyst. Uh, thanks also uh, to our listeners, our viewers, and those of you who managed to send us uh, uh, messages, and of course our team behind the scenes, our engineers and uh, producers. Signing off, this is yours truly, Blessing Zulu. And I'm Kip Stube saying good night, Zimbabwe.